person was never given a Jewish name and now they oh. are coming to give themselves a name. They're choosing a name. How should they go about choosing that? Well, uh, the different, uh, different ways of, if they're from a Jewish family, they may trace back to the- they are, from a, they are from a Jewish family and they just never got a Jewish name. So they can try to trace back to their ancestors, grandparents, great grandparents, and might find out a name of it that might be uh, appropriate for them to have. Uh, also, if the reading of the portion of the Torah happens to come out when they're giving the name, you look into the part portion. If it's what Moshe Rabbeinu is talking about, like this week's Parsha, we're talking about Avram, we're talking about Yitzchak. So that would be appropriate to go according to the Parsha of, of, of the week, or it's a Yom Tov. So, so there's, there's something happening uh, that, or something maybe they have a connection to, something that maybe but, uh, had a influence on them, that they look up to them as a person that's not living anymore, they might want to get the name of the person that they uh, felt, felt that they uh, owe, owe a lot of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of uh, respect to them or a gratitude to them. So it's good to talk to a, a rabbi to go through all these things I mentioned to choose at the right name that the, and some people like to aspire to a certain name. They like the name. They like the name of uh, Sarah. Because Sarah was a big and she did so, so, so many great things in the Torah. And they just feel like this uh, feeling of Sarah. So for some they want to give the name of Sarah. So different ways of, 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 uh, of determining what type of name to give. Who can I call? 